Well, what Chris Coons is saying, look, I, I like and respect Chris, but he's just wrong here. What Donald Trump and I have said is that there shouldn't be a free lunch for Europe or anybody else. America is not... In school lunchrooms, I want to make sure we thank our staff, that some of them are here today that we see you right here. As a young teacher, we were tasked with a lot of things. Myself was taking tickets at the lunchroom as people, as students went through. And I think those of us that have spent some time and understand that the lunchroom for breakfast or lunch, well, certainly a place for nutrition, certainly a place to make sure that we, uh, we had enough to eat before we went to school, was more than that. It was a place to be with our peers. It was a place to socialize. It was a place to relax for students, a place to feel good, to laugh, to tell jokes. That's what the lunchroom was supposed to be. This bill today is making sure that every student can partake in all of those things. One, having enough food when they get to school, making sure that it's not a concern, but also making sure there's no stigma attached to understanding that sometimes food insecurity is a lot closer to us than we think. And I'm going to give a huge thank you. This is part of a coalition. Folks that are standing here across the spectrum um, from health providers to activists to, to, to children's advocates to just numerous people who are here who have literally spent decades working on this issue of food insecurity and knowing that there are a lot of pieces to make sure that no one, especially no child, ever goes hungry in Minnesota. A land of bounty, a land of plenty, a land that feeds the world. We are certainly, and in just a few moments, going to guarantee by law, we will feed our children. We will feed everyone. It is now. And to Governor Tim Walz this afternoon at about 1.15 p.m. signs into law one of the Democrats' top priorities for the 2023 session, free school breakfast and lunch for all Minnesota students regardless of income. House Republicans made a last-ditch attempt Thursday afternoon to block the bill. Red Wing Representative Pam Altendorf says it's going to be uh, feeding some children that do not need this type of help in areas like Edina, end quote. Edina Democrat Heather Edelson responded, quote, I want to make it very clear, we have hungry kids in Edina. We do. And if you think our streets are lined with gold, I invite you to my city. They are not. End quote. Tim Waltz's record is a joke. He's been one of the most far-left radicals in the entire United States government at any level. But I think that what Tim Waltz's selection says is that Kamala Harris has bent the knee to the far left of her party, which is what she always does. Now CNN's Kristen Holmes.